And this guy here is giving me a good look whilst this one's trying to run away. And little baby over here is just taking it easy. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're in the North Sumatra in Bukit Lawang and we've got an incredible viper species here. I went out herping last night with Ipul, an incredible human being, a real forest man, and we ended up coming across these three individuals. We did find more in the night. This is the most common species of viper throughout Southeast Asia, but I just wanted to get different color representatives and different ages to show you guys. So here we have the Wranglers, temple or moon viper like they call it here in Sumatra. It's an absolutely incredible species of snake. These are pit vipers, so meaning they've got little pits on each side of the front of their faces which are able to detect anywhere between 0.03 differences in temperature. So it's incredibly sensitive to temperature and it's what it uses to hunt at night. So the temple or moon viper occur throughout Southeast Asia from Thailand, Vietnam, all the way down to Borneo, Sumatra, and a couple surrounding islands. So there are sexually dimorphic snakes, meaning that there's a little bit of differences between the males and the females. They reach, the females reach at around one, 1 1.2 meters in length on the really large side and males don't get any bigger than around 70, 80 centimeters in length. These are front fixed fang snakes. They sit and wait ambush predators, completely nocturnal and arboreal. They, they tend to stay in the same area or the same clump of trees for a couple of weeks to a month at a time and they'll wait around for their favorite prey items. Now your juvenile here, they'll probably feed majority on geckos and lizards at night, maybe even very small fledglings, but these guys, once they get a little bit bigger, are feeding on more arboreal rats, squirrels, as well as uh, sleeping birds. A really, really beautiful snake, but very non-aggressive snake. I haven't had a strike response from any of these individuals thus far, and you can see that massive triangular head, which is so indicative of vipers. She's having a little tongue flick and smelling and seeing what I'm doing, and it's a really beautiful snake. They prefer uh, primary to secondary forests, close to bodies of water, in nice moist um, areas. They're very slow moving snakes, not moving a lot during the day. They'll maybe come out and bask after a big meal and then at night they'll find a popular or, or favorite perch to wait and hide and wait for uh, prey items to come past. And you can see how absolutely stunning that snake is. Very, very, very cool. So the venom of this snake, it has Rangleri peptides, five nomial Rangleri peptides. It's mostly cytotoxic mixed with a bit of neurotoxins, but they've actually got five Rangleri peptides, novel peptides, that is actually used in a certain skin care, which is similar to Botox. So a lot to learn about uh, snake venom. It's being used a lot in the medicinal world to be able to treat certain ailments, even from cancer all the way to skin treatment, etc., etc. So these snakes, as, as much as snakes might not like, uh, be liked by people, they do have a very uh, vital importance to the ecosystem as well as for potential treatments and a cure for certain ailments.
you can see these guys are extremely arboreal in nature. They've got a very prehensile tail, which helps them hook on and latch onto a secure branch so that if they strike out or whatever the case may be, they've always, always got an anchor. So in terms of reproduction, these guys are oviviparous, like majority of vipers. Uh, they give birth to live young. The young develop inside the mother for a period of a couple of months, at which point she gives birth to live young. Uh, the young come out at around 10 to 15 centimeters in length and up to around 10 to about 40 babies. So that can be quite a large clutch. And they'll be little carbon copies of their parents. An absolutely incredible species of snake, distinctive with its nice big head, those heat sensitive pits, and the beautiful, beautiful coloration. But it's time to release these guys back in the wild. So if you like this video, please do hit the subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, and remember to stand for what we stand on. Hey guys, so uh, that's it for working with this beautiful temple viper. It's time to release her. We've got three releases to do tonight. I'll release them all more or less where I found them within like 100 meters or so. So here we go, here goes the first one back. Cool, so that's one release down, two to go. So guys, time for release number two. Uh, this is plus minus where I found the last one. Actually, it was in these vines just a little bit further. So pretty much the same tree and he's gonna be happy to go back home. So that's release two. Another happy camper. You can see the amazing climbing ability of these guys. Straight away wrapped his tail around. And now it's time for number three. Last but not least, the little juvenile. Cool guys, so finished getting some content of all three of them at night and making sure I release them at night because they are nocturnal snakes. And this is the third and final release back into the wild. Great feeling and uh, the end of my herping out here in Sumatra. So here we go. Cool guys, so just done the third and final release. Third little juvenile Wranglers Pit Viper back in the wild. There she is. 